Hi, this is Prateksha Jain and in this video, I'm going to explain about A star search algorithm using Python. So basically, what is A star algorithm used for? It is a searching algorithm as the name suggests. Now, this algorithm works on cost. Before moving from one place to another, it checks for the cost of moving from one place to another. So if the cost is just shortest as comparative to another path, then it will go for the shortest path or else it will go for the second path. And the beauty of this search algorithm is the goal node is always set to zero. Because uh, there is no cost of reaching, because there is no cost after reaching the goal node, automatically the search will get stopped. So let us uh, look after the course. So by default, uh, there are five nodes for now. Suppose I want to go from Mumbai to Delhi, and in between I have Surat, Bhopal, and Jaipur. So suppose uh, the node one edge, the node one edge has two nodes to it, that is node two and node three, that is Surat and Bhopal. But if I want to go from Mumbai to Surat, it will cost me hundred. And if I want to go from Mumbai to H3, that is node 3, that is Bhopal, it will cost me 400. So, of course, uh, if I want to uh, go to Mumbai to Delhi, then of course I will select, then of course, as the A algorithm, as the A search algorithm suggests, that we should always go for the shortest path. So, I will go for the shortest path, and that is I will go to Surat, that is Mumbai to Surat. And then uh, at, after reaching Surat, I will again check for the edges. That if I want to go to Delhi from Surat, then what are the possible edges? I have three possible edges, that is node 3, 4, and 5. Now, from Surat, the cost for uh, moving from one node to another is 200, 500, and 1200, respectively. So, of course, I will go for the shortest node, and that is N3, that is Bhopal. So, from Mumbai to Surat, we reached at 100. Then, Surat to Bhopal, we reached at 200. Now, after going to Bhopal, I have only one node present that is that connects me to uh, node 3 connects me to node 4. So, it cost me 200. So, of course, I don't have any other option. So, I need to go from Bhopal to Jaipur at 200. So, it is 100, 200, and 200 for now. Now, from Jaipur, I want to go to Delhi. Now, as here it is 0, it suggests that there is no cost and this is a full node for me. So, from Jaipur to Delhi, it uh, cost me 300. So, and uh, I don't have any other option. So, I need to take this path and move to Delhi. So, here we reach our goal node. So, this is basically how the code works. Like, let us just run this code and look after the output. Okay, so the output is this. Mumbai to Surat, Surat to Bhopal, Bhopal to Jaipur and then to Delhi. So, uh, call A star function by passing start and goal node. So, the start by initial it is Mumbai and the goal node is N5. That means I want to go from Mumbai to Delhi. So, let us go to the function A star search. Here is the function A star search. It takes two input that is source and goal. That is source is Mumbai, that is N1 and goal is N5, that is Delhi. So, we have maintained a queue that is having a VFS tree, that is bread for search. We have a, a variable visitor underscore set which is initialized to set function. Now, uh, we will create a path that is used to store efficient uh, search path. Then we will append source to the queue, that, uh, to the queue list, that is empty. And then append value of the source node in the path. What is the value of source node? It is uh, Mumbai 7 and uh, along with its edges. So, the things get added. And flag to check if goal node, flag to check if the goal node is found or not. So, uh, at Mumbai, do I have edges that... Uh, do I have an edge that is N5? Of course, no. So, found is equal to false. And if it is equal to false, then run while Q is not empty and the goal is not found. So, if the length of the queue is not equal to 0 and found is equal to, equal to false, then uh, let us have a temporary list which is currently empty uh, that will have Fn value of all the adjacent nodes. And let us also get current node from Q to explore its adjacent nodes. So, the current node in the queue is N1. So, we need to explore the adjacent nodes. Adjacent nodes are N2 and N3, 2 and 1. So check if the current node is already explored or visited. So, so if current node is not in visited state, then just put it into visited because Mumbai is already visited. So we need to shift it to visited so that we don't uh, visit it again without any reason. Then check if the current node is goal or not. So now is the current node goal as a goal node? No, it is not. It is false, right? So if it is not, then loop through all the adjacent trial nodes. So loop through all the adjacent trial nodes. That, mean, that means we need to check N1 and N3 now. Sorry, N2 and N3 now. So for I in adjacent nodes, or that is current adjacent nodes, find F value for child node. That is F1, that is F is equal to GN plus HN. So I dot cost val and current dot H val is equal to F to F and then append F value in temporary variable. And let us get the index of uh, mean F value. Out of this list, that is tem underscore F underscore value, we are taking out the mean value of tem out of tem and we are storing in mean index. That means we are finding out the minimum cost of these two reach of these two edges of these two nodes, and we are uh, storing it in mean index. Now append child node of current node uh, having less Fn. That is the cost in Q to uh, 
to be explored in q to in q to explore next so we have appended that and that and then append node of current node then append child node of current node having less val in part so we have done with that also and then delete the current node from q after exploring it we have explored mumbai right so we'll delete it from the q because it has been explored so the q is left with okay so if while loop is stopped because q is empty then uh, then just print that no path exists and if there is a path which is existing yet then print path and uh, here is the edge function which is taking target node that is uh, this and the cost value that is how much cost will it take to reach from one node to another and this is class node where we are creating the node and this is a function at inside the class node where we are just simply adding the adjacent values so thank you for watching the video